Hi guys! Jake and Marissa, back, back again, again for more, more live reactions, reactions to Kaito Sentai Looper Ranger! This is Kids Who Sentai Pet Ranger! Pew 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. What? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're back from Power Morphicon. We're a little tired. Um... It is like a reasonable time in the day, but by virtue of it being a time of the day, we If I had gone to work, it would be just after work, but it didn't go to work. It just slept through to like one or so, because mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, yeah. We're very tired. It has been a very long trip. Um, we just got in last night, I, well, this morning, I put 3 like. I think 50 miles on my Fitbit or something like that. Uh, it was a lot of running around, very little sleep. Uh, good stuff, just exhausting. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably do a, uh, a PMC rapid uh, wrap up video like I did uh, last year, or well, last time, not last year. Um, to go into some more details. Does this mean of... PMC 2019 is canceled? <laughs> um. Just to go into some more details on what our trip was like and, uh, and you know, PMC in general. That was uh, somebody's reply on Twitter to PMC 2020 confirmed. Yeah, well, this well, PMC to, to, be, to be fair, um, we do have, okay, so we do have confirmation that Power Morphicon 7 will be uh, in 2020, so that's good. We, we usually don't get confirmation right away. Yeah. Uh, but this time time we do, and this time was actually one of the more questionable ones on whether we'd even be allowed to have more Power Morphicons. Um, allowed? Oh, because of Hasbro. Because of the Hasbro deal. Um, Not because of the registry. <laughs> yeah. Hasbro is, um, is often a little uh, selective on how, whether or not they choose to endorse uh, independent conventions. So... It seems to be going well I guess for Power they had Morphicon. a good time at this Power Morphicon. And then, uh, but there is also the announcement of Power Morphicon Express, which are going to be smaller scale Power Morphicons in other locations, starting in 2019 in Pasadena, Texas. So there will actually... So it's going back to Pasadena? Eh? Um, but anyway, like I said, we'll talk, we'll talk more about that in, uh, in a wrap-up video. Um, at least I will. I, I don't know if you'll have the energy or more than one video. Um, but I hope that you had fun. It was pretty cool. I got to, s I got, I, I got to see Angie Diaz Yay. in my Vita cosplay from PMC1. Yeah. Sans gauntlets, which were still up there in that cabinet because I'm yep. an idiot and forgot to pack them. And I only had one of my boots, so I had yep. to wear my, my, my street shoes because yeah. one boot would look even weirder than wearing plain black street shoes. Exactly. But that was fun, and yep. uh, of course, um, uh, uh, Flynn McAllister was there again. Yeah, yeah, Ari Boyland. Um, and, uh, and, and I he, barely got to talk to Mike Chin. He was he was pretty busy. busy. Uh, even at his table. I, I went to his... These, these are all people I, I went to their tables. Yeah. I didn't do any, like... But you, you did the, uh... The I did get the, um... Yeah, and, uh, uh Ling, Ling, uh, Ling, Ling, The, the photo. Ling, yeah. What's her name? Uh, Li Ming Hu. Li Ming Hu. Very yes. friendly. Very yes. friendly. I chatted at, to her at her table for a little while. Yeah. I did not get anybody's signatures or photos with the, uh, RPM at people at their booths because I actually got the photo op for that. Yeah. I did yeah. a thing in the back. As, as I've never paid Dr. for a photo op before in my life, so I was like at the register going, I don't know what I'm doing. I yeah. just want to take my picture with the RPM people. How do we do that? Yeah, because that, that was kind of a must with the with the Dr. K. With the Dr. K cosplay, absolutely. I smack dab in between Jim and Gemma. It was great. Yeah, a a as it should be. I'm sitting in line and everybody's talking about Adelaide, 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 Adelaide. <laughs> you were just so... I just wanted to see Jim and Gemma. It's it's great they actually had both of them there this time because we've had yes. Mike Jen a few we've times, had, yeah, um, or at least once. Um, Not when I've been there. That must have been the, uh, one of the odd numbered PMCs. Yeah, that was uh, that was twenty twelve when I had to run off to the wedding and everything. That was crazy. Oh, the year you had no shoes. The year I had no shoes and got in trouble. 
Yes. For letting Bulk Skull have a pie fight. Yes. Um, so that was a little, a little hectic, a little crazy. Um, I'm trying to think I was going to say. Yeah. I mean, other than that, I, I went to the RPM panel. I did the, the Mystic Pizza panel. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of tooled around the floor. Yeah. I went back to the hotel a lot to sleep because I was really jet lagged. Yeah. So, the hour so, difference, and I had that sleep disorder. So you went, a, you went a little lighter on the con. I, did. I went. I went pretty light on the con. I, I probably, I, I did not get to sit in on many panels because I was so busy on staff, as anyone who was there can attest. Yeah, that's actually the other thing I did when I wasn't doing like panels and stuff. I was dragging food to him because yeah. he couldn't get away to get any food. Yeah, yeah. So, um, anyway, yeah, we'll talk more about that See, next fun. time. Uh, other big things coming up with uh, Power Rangers in this next week, though, is we do have the big 25th anniversary is coming up uh, this Tuesday, August 28th, uh, which means that we are also looking at the return of Power Rangers uh, Super Ninja Steel, which means our return to live reactions on Super Ninja Steel. Sorry, this Saturday we're going to record the next one. Um, this isn't even Mountain Dew, this is Red Bull. And then on... Uh, on Tuesday, we'll have the special uh, primetime episode. That's right. Um, so we're, ju we're just going to be pumping out live reactions Ooh. from here on out. Yeah, we're um, going to have a lot of live reactions to do. Plus, I'm going to try and work up a trailer and a concrete release date for, um, for Power Reviews 85. Um, that is coming. I, I do have the trailer basically halfway made and the episode uh, probably halfway edited. I still just, I mostly need to focus on uh, the effects and the intro and conclusion stuff. Which is not new information to anyone who came to the YouTuber panel. Yeah, yeah. The and one on Sunday, not the one on... Yeah, the, the fan film panel, yeah. That. Fan film and web series. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sort of the weird case of YouTuber, fan film, web series trifecta. <laughs> right. So he was at the, the, the YouTuber one that was before Jason yeah. David Frank, but I was getting my picture with RPM at the time. I don't, I don't know if, that, if anyone else, if, I, if anyone else actually falls under that, that triple threat category. If you do, kudos to you, because um, it is exhausting. We met some of our, our regular commenters. Yeah, that was fun. yeah, yeah. So, so thank you to, again. to our various patrons. Uh, I know I saw Athena a lot. I love we her. ran. She was she was working that heckle cosplay with, uh, with yeah. the little temporary tattoos. And uh, our but, fellow who I forget what his screen name is, who helps us out with the yeah, Japanese with pronunciations. Yokozo. That's it. Yeah. I was like, I yeah, what his you two talked for a while. Is. We did, and um, I apologize in advance for the fact that I have not yet uh, been able to f fix the problem with that one. Yeah, line Yeah, we the song just got back. We just got back. Technically, technically today, because it was 1 a.m. <laughs> and I will fix it for next episode, I yeah. promise. Yeah, it, it was technically 1 a.m. Now we really know how to pronounce Toma here. because we Toma. met him in person and talked to him. Oh. Yeah, Toma. All right, and speaking of speaking of those Sentai people... We're going to watch the Sentai. We should watch that Sentais with episode 28 of... Kaito Sentai Lupin Ranger. Versus Kaito Sentai Pet Ranger. More, More fighting, fighting on, on my, my birthday. birthday. And making sure I got sound. Now all I can think of is the <sighs> cutscenes from <sighs> uh, Ultimate Custom Night. Be no one attacks so on their birthday. You. It's his birthday, so he will attack. Okay, I'm betting that guy's a food critic. Uh-oh. Mm. Why would you eat her pudding? What pudding? Three new puddings? Sure. Uh, okay. This guy. It's Umika's dad! Remember? Yeah, okay. There we go. Oh, okay. It's your father. Papa. Wow, he is a jealous father. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
俺には婚約者がいるのでってことはやっぱりお前が娘よ Good job, Gary. Your fiance is on ice, but okay. Yeah. Hey, Nan. Well. Kogre? Oh, it's Kogre. Yeah. What is your deal, dude? Wow. You are. She's not interested. Mysterious treasures left by the Phantom Thief, Austin Lupin, no Lupin Lupin collection have been stolen by the ganglers. The thieves who fight to recover what they've lost. The police who fight to protect world peace. Whose side are you on? Oh, it's rolling, it's rolling. ライトで。君は歩しろへ。そのしゅたいに。しゅりたけやかつみ。イフユカンデスティニー。よくくするう。ほんとのてくのちゅうを。せいこう。せいこう。せいこう。せいこう。せいこう。せいこう。せいこう
very frustrating thing. Tricky beef. Submarine. There we go. Where'd Papa go? What is he doing? No, you're just a guy. Um, when he finds out about... Yeah, no. If he finds out about what it comes to that too. I wasn't thinking about that. Which... What are you thinking of? When he finds out what? Oh, oh Sakuya, yeah. Sakuya. Great. I can't oh, no, remember anyone's names right oh, now. Oh, wait. No. You know what? He'll probably approve Sakuya because he's, he's... He's a police officer. He's, he's, which is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh no. Is he gonna ship them now? Make up your mind. Hmm. Okay, I'm now that's impressive. A touch screen that can handle his hands? Yeah, exactly. Most touch screens can't handle human hands. In gloves. Yeah. Never mind Jim Carter. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, he probably had some sort of magical or something. <laughs> He is overprotecting. Because of you? Uh, well, it had to do with her friend. Yes, he kept it vague. Oh, okay. Because it was after her friend. He dropped out of school. Well, if there's one thing that, uh, that parents can't exactly do to prevent a uh, grown child from making their own choices. She's in a uniform. She was, she was going to college. I don't think that was college. I think that was a specialized high school. Was it? Hmm. Like when people go to like the high school for performing arts or whatever? Oh, okay. There's a school uniform. Oh, she's 19 now. Okay. They don't That's have right. school uniforms for college. That's right. It's, and Asian majority is different over there, too. Yeah, they don't even know each other's birthdays. Wait, is she 19 right now and about to be 20? No, she just turned 19. Okay. Right, I forgot that she was only 18. Still a child, essentially. Yeah. Because I think it's 20. Yeah. I his father sculpted me. The fact that their whole arc is just them trying to get back their lost friends is very touching. More than friends. These are their best friends. The people they love the most. Like his fiance. I mean, yeah. you're my best friend. Yeah. 
Yes, I'm in my pajamas. Yeah. I'm going back to sleep. I, I, I got to drink after this. She's a tough cookie. <laughs> Terrible coffee. Gogure! Hi! Gogure is the owner. Okay. Okay. They subtitled it even though it's English. Yeah. Oh, I see. Kogure came to relieve him so that yep. he could go do ranger things. Yep. Go, Kogure! Exactly. That's, what, that's what I figured. Go, Kogure! You get some rest. No, I get some rest. No rest for the weekend. There we go. I do. I'm looking forward to seeing how this new submarine thing works. Apparently in the ground. Something. Not just in the water, but in the ground. Because this guy swims in the ground. Whoa, he, yeah, he... It's very specifically out of that one side of it. Yeah, the one shoulder seems to shoot off all the uh, aging things. I don't want to become a grandpa, a grandma on my 19th birthday. Yeah. Oh, you can't die from something gets in the way. It has to be the ground. I guess so. Which means you probably can't do it with the floor either. It's got to be the ground. Well, I think, for some reason, I think the floor can't be. Well, no, this, this is just cement nope. board on No, no, he just went through the cement wall. Right. But, as I was attempting to say, yeah. this is poured concrete. Yeah. Which means it's still an earth material directly contacted to the earth. Okay. I'm saying you probably have problems indoors on the linoleum or something. Okay. But sidewalks and other poured concrete are not going to be a problem for him. Yeah. Because it's still considered part of the ground. Meaning he could probably also go into cave walls. He can go into the side of of the, the concrete structure, you can probably go to cave walls yeah. as well. Basically, anything that would be a valid, uh, a valid material for Haven of Earth. Okay. It's a gangrel power in, um, uh, Mind's Eye Theater. Go, shield it. The ability to yeah, really hard to pin down. Just sort of melt into the ground to avoid the sun. But you could do the same thing with um Time for the submarine. Let's see what it does. Zero, two, nine, three, I this one does. Ooh! I'm gonna guess that's like a hand drill where if you go like this, you can go following through the wall. It's, it's some sort of magic boat. Oh, it's a bow. Yeah. Those big dudes have got a seeking mechanism. No, it's just that powerful. No, no, it, 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 it sought him out somehow. Got a tracker thing going on. Well, no, he was just, he was where he was. No, wait. He just melted oh, okay. into the wall, so Tyree shot where he was, because all he did was step back into oh, the wall. Okay. He 
getting murdered. Oh wow, look at this fight though. This is all been one shot so far. This has been pretty good. He says as it finally changes shots. Yeah. There we go. Hi dolls, Frankie. Oh, they're the um, they're miniature versions of the uh, blue shark fighting fins from uh, Wild Force. That's cute. You can sit here if you want. Uh, let's see the finisher here. We got the sword, the bow. Seizing X Strike. Beef boost. Yep. I love his arrows. It reminds me a lot that, whoa, of Whoa, that is an intense uh, arrow. Zelda's Smash Ball in, um, in Smash Brothers. Yeah. There you go. Hey. Hey, everybody got turned back. Good. Ghost. Make him big, Ghost. Chance. Oh, chance. She doesn't like that guy. Yeah, if you, I don't know if you know it's the little chance it doesn't have her stomach where we're going to do the family or something. Yeah, that's people well, I pointed out last time that I hadn't seen before. Yeah. Well, I was just pointing out it happening again just now because it happened to me. Hey, Goody! Oh, oh, we put the dial on the uh, on that other piece. That's why he hadn't been using it yet. He needed to adapt it uh, for the for the VSK. He was talking to the submarine. Yeah. Which makes me wonder: Do they have mines inside of that? No. Maybe all he did. Maybe he didn't grant him sentience. Okay, maybe so the name of this one is magic. You know what kind of reminds me of right now? I was gonna say it looks like the great big blimp from um, Bloom's Tower Defense Five. Yeah, they're they're a little like uh, dude. You just built that and you gave it to them. Okay, so that's why it looks so different. I thought it was a replacement for Goody, but no, it's actually an arm and and helmet. That explains it. Feels like something impossible is about to happen. What? Whoa. Okay, sure, why not? They're able to toss cu what? what? What is happening? They're moving buildings. What? They found a dresser. They moved buildings and... What is happening? They made a giant dresser. Why? Magic. But, but why? What is that? What? It's magic! It's just, it's just very That's strange. That's not fair, Noel! Yeah, it's cool. That's right. Seems very suspicious of all this. She's the only one putting any of the pieces together. Yeah. At all. Yeah. That is... A wizard did it. That was very strange. A wizard did it. I guess so. That weird sort of pop-out hand is kind of freaky. Because the end opens and there's a globe Papa and then it left. opens again and there's a hand. So, she didn't get to so 
Don't know what those are. Those like fabric samples? Hmm? Um, no, I think they're actually. Hmm. He may have been saving so up. Celebrate later with pudding. He, he may have been saving up her gifts from various occasions since she left. Maybe. Because, um. Even if you're giving someone money, you put it in a fancy little envelope and stuff. Oh, okay. Hey, there we go. It's a bunch of tiny little money pouches. They're money envelopes. She wants a hug from her papa. Hug your papa. So you <laughs> Let's get a cake! She's gonna visit home! No dating. The end. Oh, Keichiro loses his memories. I bet he's much easier to deal with. Interesting. Gangler makes an experiment. With the thieves that you've forgotten about. Yeah. Instead of the thieves that everyone's talking about. Yes. Oh, it's cool that we get to see uh, Crane as a as a power up instead of a uh, instead of a Zord. Yeah, I, we haven't seen either of theirs, uh, Crane or uh, or bike or bike. Being used in the same way that for the, the blade the, and scissors are, or the new magic bow thing. Yeah, I mean we've seen uh, you know cyclone being used as a finisher and the bike being used as a finisher, but, but I don't think they've ever used crane and drill uh, in a finisher since they got them. Right, and not even just as a finisher. I mean, well, in this case, it's a power up. Yeah, just using it as a, as a, as a, as a they haven't used any of their vehicles just as a random power up. Well, the thing they've only used them in finishers. Well, here's the thing. Cars. I think it's either a finisher or a power up. I don't think that it's that it's double because if you think about it, Cyclone's only used in finishers, Blade of Scissors is only used as a power up. And Although both uh, of them can be attached to the Zor. Yeah, so but both of these can be attached to the Zor. So, so each that makes each. Sense. Uh, each VS vehicle has the the option of either being a Zord yeah. or used. Uh, on I guess that means fight. that since it's kind of about half and half, there's a decent chance that um, the other one is probably a finisher. Hmm. Which other one? Um, crane and. And drill. 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 Well, drill is part of crane. All right. That's a two for just like blade and scissors. Um. It looks really amusing and silly on his arm, I will have to say, though. Um, oh, right, see, because there's Drill just kind of sitting in it, like it does. Yeah. But yeah, uh, that, was a, that was a cute little episode. Uh, the whole aging bit with, uh, with his special ability didn't really play out into much. No, Wait. it was just his thing. Which was kind of surprising. It was just his, like, his, his inborn power, and it didn't really matter. But that happens a lot, where their inborn power plays second fiddle to yeah. their, um... I just always find it strange when the inborn powers are ones that have, you know, transformative effects on others, and then those transformative effects basically don't yeah. impact the plot at all. Like the aging, which didn't happen to any member of the main cast. Or the I expected whole... it to happen to Yumika's dad. Turn or, him into ancient, ancient Or the whole nation. gender swap episode where they just kind of rolled with it, which was weird. Um, you know, this was a bit of a nice little char uh, character episode focusing on a bit more... I would have liked to see what, what would have happened if 
if Umika's papa had found out about Sukuya. Or, uh, yeah, um Umika's family. Sorry, I say Kairi for a moment. Um, because I am still extremely Thanks. tired. Um, we're sleepy. I'm very sleepy. It was cool to finally see what the submarine does. Uh, yeah, it goes on the ground, and also, it's it it's turns into magic. a bow. It turns into a bow for some reason, and then when it's an arm, it becomes it's magic. Magic. That was really weird. I did not understand what was going on. You don't have to. A wizard did it. A wizard, but magic. I, I can understand how, I just don't understand why. <laughs> like, why did they decide to turn a building into a dresser? I was honestly expecting, and I keep saying it's going underground, but it doesn't. I was honestly expecting it to be a submarine that could go in the ground. Yeah, no, it just flew. Yeah, it just flew. Um, and it did magic. It and it has a secret hand. The secret hand is very strange to me. It turned a, a building into a dresser. Just for the heck of it. Like... When you already have have the end of the submarine opening up to reveal the ball, you you apparently also need to have the ball open up to reveal the hand. So why, that you can throw cards. Why why not? Why do you need the what do you need the ball for? Why don't you just the ball is for punching people in the face apparently. Uh, it's I guess stronger than the hand. I guess. I'm just like you, you could have just left the arm uh, looking like a submarine end and then open it up for the hand. That double open seems very strange, and the hand. Seems to be slightly deformed as a result. But it can throw the little red cards, which is cool. Yeah. I mean, if you look at the way that the Zord is put together, it makes perfect sense that he gave it to the Lupin Rangers. Because, seriously, what what were the Potter Rangers going to do with a thing that throws Lupin Ranger cards? Fair enough. <laughs> but they're like, why did you give it to them? Because uh, clearly it works for them better than it would work for you. The bigger question is, why did you design a Zord to do... What's better for the Lupin Rangers? Not why did you give questions. it to them? Why did you make it for them? He clearly did that. That is that is like a bespoken custom Lupin yeah. Ranger uh, Zord. Yeah. Sukas and Sukas is just doing this chin stroke. Mm. Something suspicious. Mm. It's almost like the guy who claims that he's undercover and yet does not feel the need to disguise his cop hood with the people he's going undercover with might not actually be undercover with them, he but might instead be undercover with, with us. us. <laughs> but mm. then again, he doesn't feel the need to disguise the fact that he's doing that with them. So does he know that I know that he knows that I know that he knows that I know that I know that very silly. But yeah, he's, he's being undercover as a police officer, and the police officer is just like, what? I read a really great theory the other day that Icane powder isn't something that you put in beverages. Yeah. It's an airborne toxin. Yeah. So, both of the tea were fine. He was just killing time after he had him sniff the vial. It's odorless. Oh, that's a fun theory. Um. If you know that I know that you know that you know that. Yeah. But yeah, this, this was, uh, again, a little, uh, Mostly pretty pretty light episode. It wasn't as as completely ridiculous, silly as the previous one. Uh, although Ka uh, Umika's dad chasing after Kyrie was, was hilarious. Was, I just was wish I could have seen him like with with Sequoia because he would have been all like, "What are your intentions? Are you going to marry my daughter?" Yeah, exactly. I, I feel like that was a little bit of a missed opportunity. There. That was such a missed opportunity. Um, I like that little moment between Kyrie and Toma. I felt like that really, um, it really reflects well how, as, as I have a fiance, as tight as they as they may kind of how they're despite the fact they're all in this together, they still don't actually know each other all that well. Yeah. Even after all this time. Just didn't know it was my birthday. Um. They're, they're just, they're really driven by the lives that they have. They have, they have, this is, I think a lot of them are, not a lot of, there's three of them. I think to yeah. some degree there is a understanding that this is temporary. Yeah. yeah. That once they get their friends back they'll probably go their own ways. Like, right. 
I mean, at this point, they're getting to be friends enough that that might not happen, but I'm gonna guess that somewhere at the beginning of all this, it was just generally decided, you know, look, look, I'm just here for my thing, and you're just here for your thing, Yeah. and we're not gonna be friends, we're just gonna get this taken care of, and yeah. we're never gonna see each other again. And we don't want to get attached, uh, right. cause, you know, any, at any time, any one of us could... Could, could, could go down, could go and down. the others have to carry on. Yeah. They have, you know, and bring back our loved one. That yeah. was like the one agreement they had, was that no matter who's left standing, they're going to bring back all three uh, yeah, exactly. loved ones. Exactly. So even if only one of them makes it to the end, that's okay, because they care more about the loved ones than they care about themselves. Yep. And who knows, maybe the, the wish could bring could bring them back as well. Possibly. Uh, we but, still don't know much about the details yeah. of how this wish works. But either way, I feel like they are becoming more friends than they intended to. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And they probably will not wind up going their separate ways and never seeing each other again once this is over. Well, we'll because see. they've gotten more involved with each other than they would have been. I'm not saying they're going to stay the best of friends, but they might right. be on like Christmas card terms, even though they intended to never see each other again. Yeah, I can see that. I can see so that. Like, hey, Mika. Merry Christmas. Yeah. How are you and your family? Mine are doing good. Mm-hmm. I'm inviting you guys to my wedding because. My what? My fiance is not an ice anymore. <laughs> You're not going to be in the wedding party. Just you know, you can come. Yeah, yeah. You know, not super close, but close yeah, enough. Something like that. Friend, friendly, yeah. as opposed to never going to see you people again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They've become too attached for never going to see you people again. Yeah, I they agree. they would. It's possible that they would like you know fall away from one each other another slowly over time. Yeah. Like natural friendships do. Right. But they're not going to be able to cut it off. It won't yeah, work. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, It'll be like those high school friends that you're just like, yeah, we were friends in high school, and I have no idea where they are now. But if I saw them at the store, and I'd be like, hey, you! I remember you! I remember we get... Uh, the, uh, as, as much as, uh, as these um, mo more or less standalone episodes have been, have been very nice... It'd be nice to get back I, um, into the, uh, the arc. Yeah, I'd like. I, I'm still we have been in waiting Land a little for bit a more while story. Now. Um, this, this this has been a quite a long trip to the Department of Filler. Yeah, I mean we had the whole thing with um, uh, what you call it? What do you mean? With uh, with we had Noel's introduction and then the those um the trio of ganglers to lead into the big. Yes. Combination, but uh, since then we seem to have pretty much gone back to status quo. We're stagnated. Again. There's a lot of status quo in this show. Filler is good. Yeah. Too much filler is not good. It. it Individually, each of these filler episodes yeah, has been yeah, very exactly. fulfilling. But we need to acknowledge the arcing plot. We haven't acknowledged that in a while. And honestly, I'm. I'm I mean, aside from we did sort I'm hard of acknowledge it. I'm pressed to even say time. what it, what the overarching plot even is, he is anymore point. yeah well, we, we, we that's what really i'm saying we kind of did get on. a bit of a, uh, a a trip to the department of backstory which yeah. was plot a relevant visit. yeah the, the 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 department of backstory yeah. trip was plot relevant it was right. about umiko's friend who got frozen right so that is relevant i mean we 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 got the we got the news or that's that's usually considered a progression that that is a slight change in status quo um, there's just, it feels like we're not getting, uh, much by way of story movement. <laughs> or character development. Um, we're finding out more about their pasts, but we're not seeing Yeah, well that's a form of grow. character it's development. I'd say character progression. Progression. Character progression. We're, getting we're not moving forward as people. We are finding out more about who they already are, I mean, but we're not I mean, they are deepening their relationships a little bit, which is nice. With each other, yeah, which go plays back to the whole... It's, it's more so I want, I want to see what, um... Like, is anybody learning anything? Is anybody yeah. growing in a in a substantial way in themselves? I I, I mostly want to want to see what um uh what other challenges they are going to be facing this season apart from defeating the Gangler of the Week, because um, the the Lupin Ranger Pad Ranger. Um, uh, rivalry just seems to kind of ebb and flow, but uh, just kind of is it, it's died down a little bit thanks to Noel, but that's about it. Um, we oh, 
I just thought of something that we haven't checked in on in a while. Nobody's investigating the mole at GSBO. That hasn't been a thing. Yeah, what's up with that? Uh, unless, of, I, I would say that nobody is investigating it unless yeah. that is part of uh, Tsukasa's side-eyeing of Noelle all the time. If she was... I, I would not consider it to be out of the blue, given the way she's been behaving, if right. in one episode she goes, I've been looking into you, Noelle. Yeah. Um, I think you're the mole. That would not come out of the blue for me. Yeah. But uh, aside from that, like, we haven't seen it acknowledged or anything like that. I, I'd like to see uh, some some arcing stories happening, and, um... I feel like Tsukasa's actress is actually doing, um, a fairly decent job of trying to fill various things in with facial expressions. Yeah, exactly. Um, like, I don't know if those are written in, but she's definitely... I feel like... And I don't know, but but I feel like behind the scenes she's kind of going continuity wise. Something's not, like, you know. Maybe if I just you know looked like this, or maybe if I rolled my eyes at that, or it didn't, it would yeah. help maintain continuity. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, like them all working together that one time was great. It just then it just it was almost like it never happened. Uh, almost immediately. Reset button. <laughs> Is this Star Trek? Um, How many shuttles are there really on Voyager? Because you've destroyed too many already. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, hopefully um, hopefully soon we'll start getting some some uh, more developments because we're uh, I mean we're we're coming up on thirty episodes now. We're we're yeah getting pretty far into the series. I mean I don't know maybe this is supposed to be like a breather season and not be as heavy on plot as the last one was. Uh, it it definitely already has been that way. This is yeah. definitely a much. I'm saying maybe that's much, intentional. Yeah, um, but even if it is, it's it's still. Uh, it's, I'm missing out on like some. A, it, it's it has a promising premise, but I'm starting to miss out on the the intrigue that the, we could be investigating. That we could intrigue. be del intrigue yeah. that we yeah. could be de um, investigating. Yeah. Delving into yeah a little deeper. Uh, like nothing new has really happened with Zamigo. Nothing new has happened with the supposed spy or the discovery that the ganglers are. Our whole you know maybe Kogure and Noel, what's going on? Yeah. But their conversation thing turned out to be like ten seconds at the beginning of the next episode. Yeah, that's basically that the way that any much. new plot development seems to be. It's like. Oh, oh, maybe it's the, oh, there's a new development that... And, and they've solved just, it already. In the next ten seconds of the next episode. And then they just move past it. Yep. So, it's, it's a little bit of a frustration. Um, you know, we, we got, a, I, I know last year we got a little antsy for the Q Rangers to get off of Earth. No. Um, you got a little antsy for the Q Rangers to get off of enough. Earth. I sat there going, this is just an Earth-based season, and you're going, no! And it no. wasn't. So. And it wasn't, but I was not antsy about it, because I was just like, yeah, it's probably an Earth-based season. Mm. But you um, were right. They yeah. did leave Earth. Yeah. Um, and, you know, even when they were based on Earth, they still got away from there a few times. Yeah. Um, but, but, yeah. We, I, I, I'm in, we're enjoying these uh, episodes. We just... We, we want something a little, a little meatier moving forward, hopefully soon. Um, Sorry. Uh, what is the what's the oh the next episode is Ketro loses his memory which yes I have no and I'm wondering if Ketro is less forward. of a jerk when he doesn't know I feel like he must be like like I would love them to use this opportunity to show us what Ketro is like on a um, like on a soul level because I think a lot of people especially right. people who are like Ketro. Um, they get caught up in an identity yeah. that isn't who they are. We'll find out. I mean, you, you see hear about this in psychology a lot, which I read too much of, especially since I'm still writing that fanfic from the Diggs Place in a Psychiatric Institute. Um, yeah. The uh, person of interest, you should read it. Yeah. There are, a lot of people uh, have issues because they have constructed a false self Right. For the world. Right. Which is not in tune with who they actually are. 
Yeah, yeah. And I feel like Kichiro is one of those people. And if he has amnesia, will we see who he really is? I'm, I'm not sure I feel the same way about him. I feel uh, like... He wanted to be a police officer, so he has, like, I'm a cop. I feel like he, he wears his I'm a cop on his sleeve very, very much. He does not hold back on anything, it seems. Well, I feel like he may have latched on to I'm a cop and built a new identity around that. Fair enough. To the expense of other parts of himself. I think that his interactions with Like his with fun side, are... because he has become way too freaking serious. Yeah, the, I, I imagine we'll, we would see a more innocent uh, side of him. Uh, with, yeah. That is not colored by his previous interactions with people. He probably would not be as biased against the thieves. I mean, we uh, kind of saw it in much. that episode with the uh, like Lotus Eater machine when he was yeah, riding he was around relaxed. his bicycle. He was like, ah, yeah, because he yeah, no did way. not want to be, I'm a cop. He wanted to be Officer McFeely from, um, from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well, anyway, we're, we're, uh, about, I think, uh, I don't know running what time it is. I don't I've know got, I've got, to, I've got to get to tutoring today. I don't know what's going on. It's okay. I'll we're, take your word for it. So hopefully we were still, uh, vaguely entertaining despite our exhaustion today, and hopefully we'll be, uh, so a little bit more well So we're going to see you guys well again rested. this Saturday. Well, um... I'll probably release it on Sunday. Sunday. Okay, we'll you see get, you guys again You get again home from you Sunday, have work on Sunday. But we'll be making another video on Saturday when Power Rangers comes back. Yep. And uh, and I'll be having other things along the way to hype up the Return of Power reviews as well as my Power Run Morphicon Power wrap up. Power. Um, so kind of give you guys an idea of what it was of what <laughs> my experience uh, going out to PMC was like. Uh, and why I'm so exhausted right now, but still feel pretty good about things. Um, so until next time, farewell, farewell Ranger fans, and, and let the power protect you. It's magic. Yeah, sure. <laughs>